across Exmoor at the moment, the Exmoor pony herds are being brought into the farms where the foals are separated. Uh, they're inspected to make sure they reach the breed standard for Exmoor ponies and then in due course they'll receive their passports. Now, particularly the colt foals can't go back out onto the moors because otherwise they would be breeding with mares by the following year and breeding on Exmoor is very strictly regulated. Only registered stallions are allowed to run out there and we're trying to be really careful how many foals we breed so we don't breed too many. The Exmoor ponies are an endangered breed so it is really important that we maintain breed numbers and we breed to keep the gene pool as, as wide as we can for a healthy population. traditional every year we round in the, the ponies running on Withypool Hill and uh, Hard 23 have been here for a very long time since the early 1800s um, and uh, so traditionally we round in all the mares and sort them out, wean the foals and present the foals for, to, for inspection to the Exmoor Pony Society and then hopefully we can register, check their DNA and find some good homes for them to go to. So that's that's what we do. We've got to manage them in a traditional manner. They, they're part of Exmoor and we've got to do the best we can for them. So Robin, they're all in the pens now, they've been gathered in from the moor, what happens now? We'll go through, have a check, any of the older mares that we don't think will be good to stay out here in the winter, they'll come in and any of the foals will be weaned as long as they're old enough. So after that, what happens to the foals? After that, there'll be an inspection, and I think it's on Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, by the Pony Society, so that they can be registered as pedigree, if we fit all the appropriate criteria that they've come up with. And, um, and from then, we look to see what we can do as regards selling any. Probably one or two of the, the best of the Teddy foals we will keep, and they'll perpetuate the herd. farming and keeping these these ponies for several generations. I think I was generation eight at West Anstey, so generation nine is taking over at the moment and generation ten is due in the next week. So so that's probably why we keep them. It's part of the heritage that they're they're actually part of Exmoor. It's one of the one of those iconic things specific to Exmoor. Pretty well every visitor or tourist you talk to wants to come and look at the scenery look at the ponies and look at the red deer.
trolls really do need to find homes when they come off the moors, and they need to find homes quickly. So right now, we're looking for people who are interested, uh, who may be willing to help us safeguard this amazing native hill pony breed. Please do get in touch. Our website is www.mepbg.co.uk. That's the Moorland Exmoor Pony Breeders Group. Thank you.